What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, RobotPeta15 here, bringing you another Mega Dimension Neptunia V2, uh, let's play. I completely forgot everything, uh, just now. I haven't recorded any YouTube stuff in about four days, so it's good to get back into this. Anyways, last we left, we're on episode 15, last we left off, we met Neptune with boobies, and she roasted the hell out of R4. So let's continue on here. We're at Uzume's main base here. We made it through uh, De De Detona Cave. Detonia Cave. De however you pronounce that. We made it through there. So now we got a shop here. Let's see if we can buy anything. I'm going to buy more healing grasses. There we go. So I'll give us a full set of that. Um, uh, Let's see. Anything else I need? Nope, I don't really need anything else. Um, alright, let's go to the conversations here. Uh-oh. Uzume says she needs to take a bath after sweating so darn much. Are we about to get another bath scene? Shit. <laughs> and it starts it right away, too. So that's Neptune on the right, Uzume in the middle, and Neptune on the left. Neptune has boobies. That's... I still can't get over that. Whew, what a nice bath. Yeah, looking out at the scenery while taking a bath in a barrel is nice. It kind of has its own charm. I think it'd be nicer if all three of us weren't squished in here. I guess it was a stretch for all three of us to get in. No way! Baths are the best when everyone takes them together! That's the trope! I'll have to write about this later in my nep note. Huh? Isn't that your specimen book? The nap note is a notebook, you know. It's a convenient notebook that I write in that I write in along with the, with being a specimen book. Also, if something I put in the book has a special has as special ability, okay, wording there. Let's work on that. I can draw out a part. I can draw out a part of it, a part of that power, and use it freely. That's amazing. I can't believe a book like that exists. Because I've had this, because I've had this notebook, I was able to travel to different dimensions using Krusty's ability. But this is the first time I've taken a bath together with friends like this. Ah, what bliss! Hey, Gearsy. Um, well, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. You, you still feeling guilty? I'm not bothered by it, so you shouldn't feel responsible, Uzume. But because of me. It's okay. It would have been irresponsible of me to leave while some serious problems of yours remained unsolved. As a result, I was still able to find a way back home, so I'm glad. But you still won't come with me, will you? Yeah, it's such a kind offer for you to make, but I can't. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Please, don't worry. It's okay. Even if I forced you to come, I just feel t too bad knowing you wouldn't be happy. You know, Nepsy. You know, Nepsy asked me if I wanted to come to your world too. She did. Yep, she was worried about the same thing you are. But in the end, I'm a CPU. Someday, I'm gonna build this. I'm gonna rebuild this nation so that people can live here again. If I build it, they will come. I'm starting from scratch, and this place is a wasteland. But all I see is a field of dreams. If my dream comes true, I can come visit you. Promise? Promise. I really want that to happen, so I swear I'll get you back to your old world. To your world. Okay. <laughs> hmm? Why are you giggling? I just thought you were being cool. Whoa, really? You finally get how cool I am, huh? Yeah, just like I thought. I knew I was awesome. Oh, but you really are kind of cute, getting so worked up about some someone's thinking you're so cool. I'm not gonna lie, this game is pretty fucking cool. They added a lot more fan service than they used to have in it. Can I talk to you for a second? Hmm? What's up? I know this is kind of selfish of me, but would it be okay for me to call you Big Sis? Oh, so that's what this is about. 
Sure, Nipgear, that's quite all right with me. Thank you, Big Sis. Oh, such a new feeling. Could you call me that one more time? Okay, Big Sis. Oh man, Big Sis sounds so great. Please, just just one more time, one more time. Big Sis. One more. Big Sis. Um, how in, how long is this going to go on for? One more set. The power system's broken after all. I can't use it like this. How is it, Gearsy? Can it be fixed? The power system is completely broken, so it looks like repairs are impossible. I see. If only there were a replacement there were a replacement part or something. Oh, that's it. There was that method. Uzume, could you could you let me borrow your visual radio? You're not thinking of taking a part out of it, are you? Of course not. I was going to add some parts from the M from the end gear to the radio. You did you did want me to modify it, so it's perfect. But is that all right? Oh, right, Uzume. But is that all right? Isn't that end gear really important? I have a bunch of them back in my world, so it's perfectly fine. Didn't his Stwa give her an end gear in Rebirth 2? So how does she have a, baj a bajillion of them now? That's what I want to know. It's finished. It doesn't look any different, though. If it got too big, it would it would get in the way on your wrist, so I did, did my best to compress it all inside. It's not 100% like the end gear, but most of the functions should be usable, and its original functions have been improved. Really? You're amazing, Gearsy. Please take good care of it. You bet. I'll take care of it for life. Da 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 da. Nep Station. Nep Station. It's your favorite info program, Nep Station. Now in Technicolor. <laughs> this is your new and slightly nervous host, Neptune, and. Uzume Teneboshi, reporting in. Hi, Big Nepsy. Hi, Uzume. So, straight to the point. I don't think I'd, I didn't think I'd show up here so soon after my first appearance. This show will get stuck in a rut if it's just me and Nepsy, so we gotta spice it up somehow. Darn straight. Still, you really saved our bacon by dropping it, dropping in on us recently. Thanks again. You don't have to thank me. Thank this skyfish. They're the real MVPs. I was just hungry. Uh, I think Neptune needs to talk to Happy from Fairy Tale about how disgusting skyfish would taste. Hey, are skyfish yummy? Can you actually eat them? Great question, Uzume. I don't know, but they're called skyfish, so they could, they should be edible, right? Nope. Nope. If it's the same skyfish from Fairy Tale, nope. I think they're a kind of white fish. You really haven't eaten them, Uzume? No, I haven't, but they're UMAs. UMAs. Okay, unidentified mysterious animals. You know, I'm curious. Then I just have to prove they exist by catching and eating it. Bring it on! Uh, for now, let's pull this back together and go to the episode preview. I'll leave it to you, Big Nepsy. The everyday life we believed in without question crumbled away in a single instant. Our familiar landscape wrapped in flames, a daunting frame rises. Reunited in gunfire, what did Nepgear and I feel? Next episode, Mobile Game Soldier Neptune. <laughs> its name is Nepgear Nam. <laughs> it's a Gundam! <laughs> Revive in the land of war, Nepgear Dam. <laughs> That is perfect. Hey, wake up, you fools. Stop making so much noise in the morning, Soupstock. Who the hell is Soupstock? I need food, right now. I can't stand it. This mortal form has grown weak. I need sustenance. Aw, oh, man, too much trouble. Oh, these weeds look edible. Here you go, some healthy wild plants. I heard you say weeds just now. Don't you mock me. 
Damn it! I can't escape when this book is absorbing my powers. On top of that, I'm so hungry I can't muster any strength. If I could at least eat something, I could probably gather enough power. Uh, since you started talking about food, now I'm getting hungry, Arbor. I wonder if we can have any breakfast. Let's have some breakfast. We can? I gathered a bunch of edible looking plants and, veg and vegetables while on a walk, and Uzme is about to cook them for us. Yippee! Alright! Is it gonna be edible? Here's my fish and vegetable roast. I made a lot, so have as much as you'd like. This looks great! I've always wanted to eat fish prepared this way. Mmm, it's delicious! It's not all overcooked and rubbery either. You did great! I'm glad you like it so much. Here, I have more, so keep going. Hey, Uzume. What are these shriveled, purple-looking things on this skewer? That's eggplant. <laughs> have you never eaten any eggplant before? Uh-oh. I just happened to find some fresh and tasty-looking eggplant. I just happened to find some fresh and tasty-looking eggplants. Hmm. So this is eggplant. Down the hatch. Oh. How's it taste? Blech. What is this food? It's beyond disgusting. In fact, I'd say it's borderline dangerous. Really? I thought they tasted pretty good. Okay, so she's not like... She, she's like other Neptune. Good, good, good. Because other Neptune cannot stand eggplant. No, 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 no. I'd rather eat Ubio before eating this freaky blackish purple garbage. Now there's no need to eat me. Now, Nepsy, you're all grown up now. <laughs> so you should eat all kinds of foods without being picky, you understand. What? But this doesn't even taste good at all. The texture's all squishy and gross, too. Ugh, Umio's like a nagging dad. This stuff isn't food for people at all. <sighs> what to do? Then why don't I eat it for you? This voice. Arbor, you'd really eat this for me? Shh, don't talk so loud. As you know, I'm quite famished, and this is a fair deal, isn't it? It's more than I could hope for if you'll eat it. If you're being serious, then release me from this book so I may eat. Nope. But in return, I'll feed them to you. Here. I'm most grateful. Yes, what delicious eggplant. It's truly an eggplant is eggplant. <laughs> I forgot, R4 loves eggplant. Neptune hates eggplant. <laughs> oh, there's so much stuff. Let's start Arbor's torture session. Let's begin Arbor's torture meeting number one. Torture meeting? I believe you mean interrogation, Nepsi. Eh, same difference. I'm pretty sure they're very different. Now, we'll have you spill everything. Who are you and what the hell's your objective? Very well, I will answer your questions. Huh? You're surprisingly willing. My name is R4! I am the one who will bring destruction to this world and death to the CPUs. Yeah, yeah, we know that. Yes, you've said it many times. Correct. We understand those points very well from what has transpired. Uh, how dare the likes of you brats and a fish! Ooh, ooh, me, me! I have a question for Arbor. What do you do after you defeat Uzume? <laughs> you can't even figure that out without answering, without me answering? After she is defeated, I will destroy this world, of course. That's the part I really don't get. If you destroy the world, won't you disappear along with it? What's the point of doing something like that? I don't care. My destiny is to destroy this world along with the CPUs, and I won't let anyone get in my way. And I'm asking why you do such a thing when you di when you disappear too. Hmm. If you can't wrap your head around my noble purpose, then you're more hopeless than I'd already assumed. Jeez, you're such a meanie, Arbor. All right. 
Uzume, is it okay if I borrow your- Uzume, is it okay if I borrow your visual radio for a little while? Sure, what are you gonna do with it? I found a working terminal over there, so I thought I'd try to see if I could contact Ustwa. Could I come with you? If possible, I'd like to talk to Nepsi too. Of course! Oh, but there's no guarantee that I'm gonna be able to contact them. It's fine. An outside terminal might do the trick, though. They're way more stable. Oh, I wonder what Nepsi's up to right now. Maybe she wants to see us so badly she's, like, trembling. She did say this world wasn't so bad, so she might pop back over here. Then it would be, like, double the Nepsi, double the fantastic fun. Oh, I totally want to make that happen. Usme, language. Huh? Huh? Oh, <clears throat> well, you know, it's good to try stuff out, so we might as well since we so might as well since we have nothing to lose. I did it. It connected. Hello, it's me, Nepgear. Nep Junior, I'm so glad you're safe. Yes, I'm all right. After you left, we managed to escape, and right now we're at Uzme's main base. Yep, me, Gearzy, and Umio are all safe. Sorry for making you worry. Long time no seeing you either, Uzume. I'm glad you're safe. I was worried about what happened, but I'm glad everything. I'm glad. I'm glad everyone's all right. Oh, Neptune, could you switch over to Hiswa? I wanted to talk with her about what our next step is. Uh, I'd switch with her in a snap for you, but actually, Isti's currently out like a light. What? It looks like she pushed herself a lot to transform to transfer me from there to here. So and she short circuited. Will she be all right? We just installed an update patch on her, so she should be fine. Hopefully, it's actually in the middle of installing, so we're just gonna wait for her to restart. I know it's rough, but you just gotta wait a little longer out there. We're working real hard on finding a way for you to come back right away. Okay. I understand. By the way, what's the latest out there? What's happened with Arbor? Well, about that... Holy smokes, you and Uzme are pretty darn awesome to beat Arsenor like that. But even more surprising is the fact that you met up with a different dimension version of me. If I knew what was gonna happen, I would've stuck around. So, where's that other me right now? She said she was going to go out on a walk, but she hasn't come back just yet. Ah, what a bummer. Next time you call me, you should put her on if, if she's around. So, Neptune, about me getting back to our world, we've actually found one more method over here. Really? Yes, there's a person named Krosty who came to this world with bigger Neptune, and she apparently has the power to travel between dimensions. The hang-up is that they got separated, so we're currently looking for her. Oh, that's great! So long. So as long as you find that person, you can come back. Sorry, I wanted to tell you sooner, but it's no problem. We were gonna have to fix Histy either way. Nep, where are you? Whoops! Looks like I F's a calling. If something else happens, give me a ring. We'll be. We'll keep working over here to make sure things turn out all right. See ya. She hung up. Glad to see Nepsi's in good spirits. But there's nothing wrong with having more than one way to get home. We need to find Krosty. Hey, Uzume, what's for lunch today? Man, already? You just ate breakfast. I'm just curious. Let's see. We still have a lot of the plants and vegetables Gearzy gathered, so we gotta finish eating those. Sorry, I didn't think there was going to be any su supplies here, so I got carried away. Does that mean eggplant for lunch, too? Why don't you use this opportunity to fix your picky eating habits, Nepsy? Even if roasted eggplant doesn't suit your taste, you may be able to eat eggplant cooked in other ways. No way, 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 no way. We're gonna call that good. I figured. Neptune really hates them from the depths of her soul, no matter what dimension she's in. 
Ugh, why does such a food like eggplant exist in this world? Then, for your own sake, why don't I lend you my wisdom? Really? Wait, I thought you weren't going to speak with us anymore, Arbor. Small details don't matter at the moment. This would be beneficial to you as well. Beneficial? What are you going to do for me? Oh, I will consume all of the eggplants. <laughs> Excuse me? What are you saying? You detest eggplants, right? Then if I were to eat all of them, then there can never be eggplants laid on the dining table. Oh, that really is beneficial. You won't have to you won't have to eat the thing you dislike, and I can satiate my hunger. It's a win-win. I'll bring over the eggplants right away. Neptune. Even I can't eat them raw. It's totally fine. You're eating those eggplants from before so happily. You you'll like them raw too. <laughs> you'll like them raw too, eh? Oh my god. So much dialogue. Alright. So let's go to Nepgear. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Huh? Whose voice is this? This is a voice from heaven. Right now I'm speaking directly to your soul. You do not need to force yourself to eat what you hate. What you must do is dispose of what you dislike, but it is wrong to waste food. I'm not sure who you are, but I don't have any foods I dislike, so you don't have to worry about me. Wait, seriously? Yes, yeah, seriously. Hmm? I feel like I've heard that voice before. It's Neptune. Neptune was in her head the entire- was talking to her that, through that the entire time. Now then, I wonder what's for today's lunch. Perhaps I will, per I will peruse our supplies. Ugh. What a large amount of freshwater fish. Uzme is probably responsible for this. How worrisome. <sighs> what should I do? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What is this voice? Who is speaking to me? This is a voice from heaven. Right now, I'm speaking directly to your soul. You do not need to force yourself to eat what you hate. What you must do is dispose of what you dislike, but it is wrong to waste food. Then what am I to do? R4, dispose of the food you hate by feeding them to R4. This way you will not be throwing it away. <laughs> Ah, of course. I, I don't know who you are, but I am very grateful for your wisdom. Alright, what can I use to make lunch? Uh, shiitake mushrooms? I bet Umio snuck those in. But I don't feel right just throwing them away just because I hate them. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What the hell is this voice? Who's calling me? This is a voice from heaven. Right now I'm speaking directly to your soul. You do not need- I, Am I gonna have to repeat myself? You do not need to force yourself to eat what you hate. What you must do is dispose of what you dislike, but it is wrong to waste food. Then what should I do? R4. Dispose of the food you hate by feeding them to R4. This way you will not be throwing it away. Oh, nice idea. Thanks, voice from heaven. So gullible. Hmm, Big Nepsy specimen book was... Here it is. What should I make for lunch today? Oh, I know. I'll use this opportunity to help everyone overcome their pickiness. Huh? The eggplant, shiitake, and fish are missing. That's strange. I thought I had plenty during... I thought we had plenty during breakfast. <sighs> is R4 in the flesh again? Come on. What was that noise? I know, I saw that one kindly. <laughs> Uzume, I just heard a huge noise. What happened? <laughs> finally! Finally, I am free! Th this voice is Arbor's? Holy baloney, that old lady is Arbor? 
That's right, Big Nepsy has yet to see her in this form. How can this be? I thought she was trapped in Neptune's specimen book. Yeah, even Krosty couldn't escape from that notebook. Once I get serious, breaking such a seal becomes a trivial matter. Not only that, but you fools fed me and gave me the strength to do it. What do you mean by that? Ha! <laughs> Why don't you ask your friends? Uh, son of a bitch, you tricked me, didn't you? It's the absolute worst to take advantage of other people's kindness. I would never have imagined such a heavenly voice would have belonged to the likes of you. Um, the reason all the foods that everyone hates was missing... Was it possibly... I'm real sorry, this is all because I hate those mushrooms. If I had simply endured and ate those freshwater fish, this would never have... Hey, I didn't do anything wrong, okay? What's at fault here are the eggplants. <laughs> How foolish humans, CPUs, and fishmen are. <laughs> well, what's done is done. We'll just have to defeat you one more time. Yeah, you're gonna pay up for what you've done. Hmm, I'm outnumbered in this situation. You think I would fight straight? I would fight you straight on? You asshole! You're running away? Running? No. I am merely retreating for now, so that I can once again throw you all into despair. Spend what's left of your precious time carefully. <laughs> God damn it. She made a clean break. She's quite the strate strat strategist to take advantage of the foods we dislike. R4 is formidable. It's probably best that we don't use those foods for meals from now on, so this will never happen again. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Um, is there no option for all of you to try and overcome your dislikes? Nope. Negative. There's no way! Just as I thought. Oh, So much dialogue! Ugh. Oh. R4 managed to get away, but what will we do? We're chasing after her, of course. Now that she knows where this base is, we don't know when she'll attack. Sorry we can't go and search for that crossy person, Gearzy. Oh, don't worry about me. Besides, if this place gets attacked, then it wouldn't be then wouldn't it be then it would be terrible for all the monsters living here. I owe you one. Man, I really dropped the ball, too. I didn't even know there was a way to escape my specimen book. Without any clues, how will we locate R4? That's the problem, isn't it? Since she just disappeared, we have no idea where to look. Don't sweat it. This magical rod will lead the way for us. What's that? It's just a stick. I grabbed it from over there. So, you stand this up on the ground and let go. <laughs> the magical rod is putting that away, so our four must be, must be over there. But didn't you just pick it up from the ground? At this point, let's not worry about the details. We don't have any clues anyhow, so let's try looking in the direction it pointed. And that's the direction it pointed, huh? Oh, cool! Now we actually get to do route building. There are more places to build. No, there is no place to. Okay. All right. Um. That seems to be the place we need to go. I'll rest for a bit. Real quick, I'm gonna check the shop here. Anything at all? Nope, nothing at all. Alright. Ah, we should be good to go then. Oh, that's such a long walk. Oh, uh, we have battles on the way too. Maybe I'll catch Great. them to put it's in my, my specimen book. Here I go! 
Oh, I'm still using the lean edge. I just realized that. Oh well. I shall go for. Just kidding. Oh come on. Get that attack in. There we go. You were such a pain. How's that? Was it cool? All right. So let's get on down to the other base first. So we have development that we can do here. Water Dragon Scales for the PSP Charger? Okay. Alright. So that's something we'll definitely have to look into. Um, what is our... Oh, there's the points right here. Okay. Uh, Christmas... Yeah, entrance arena and storage. Oh, that was a terrible yawn. All right, guys. I think we're gonna cut this episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like down below, subscribe for more content, and always leave a comment. I try to read any old comments that I possibly can, and I try to reply to as many as I possibly can as well. Either way, Panda, check in out.